Let's get into that game where you are in Washington. <laughs> Tell me this, because we're talking Pac-12. Yeah. Do you think the Pac-12, Des, is going to get a team into the college football playoff? Uh, you know, at the beginning of the season, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't pick a Pac-12 team to uh, get into the college football playoff. But as the season starts to unfold and you just realize how, how much talent is in the Pac-12 and how deep the Pac-12 is, you're looking at a conference that has seven teams ranked in the AP Top 25. They have three in the top ten. You're talking about number seven, Washington, number eight, Oregon, and then number ten, USC. So this is not only the, the, the most talented, but probably in all of college football, and I know you guys used to hearing this week in, the week out, year in, the year out, that's the ACC. But it, I mean, it's the SEC, but it's not the SEC this year. It's the Pac-12. So I think as we're starting to watch these teams play, this season unfold, I do believe that the Pac-12 will probably have a team that gets into the college football playoff when it's all said and done. Well, let me ask you this, uh, Dez, because they do have, the, they do have a, a playoff system in the Pac-12. So let's just say for the sake of argument, one of these teams are undefeated. And uh, uh, let's just say for the sake of argument, it's Washington. And they're undefeated. Yeah. And they face a, a, a USC yeah. or they face an Oregon in the Pac-12 championship game and get knocked off. Do you considering, do you yeah. think they'll still get a team in? Shannon, I think that they would probably deserve to get a team in because, like we saw a year ago, you have if you're a high, if you're a highly ranked team, you say right. Washington. So if Washington knocks off Oregon tomorrow, Oregon's like number number eight. I think this will boost their resume. And then when the college football playoff committee starts to look at resume, they start to look at these W's that you've acquired throughout, throughout the season. And I think that's what's going to mm -hmm. help bolster their claim to get to the college football playoff. Don't forget, a year ago, you had a highly ranked um, Ohio State. At the end of the season, they lost big at home to Michigan, right? right. But Correct. they were able to get into the college football playoff through the back door, even yeah. though they had that huge loss at home against their arch rivals. So, to me, with that being the example, I think that Washington, mm. based on what you just asked me, will have a strong argument to get into the college football playoff, even if they do lose at the end of the season. All right. Go Blue, Des. Hey, we got the two-minute warning they're telling me, so let's get to this <laughs> one quick. Uh, potential Heisman Trophy candidate in Caleb Williams. Again, do you think that they'll pull it off in Notre Dame? I tell you what, when you look at um, Notre Dame and uh, what, they're, what they've looked like like the past three or four weeks, especially, especially since the Ohio State game, I think that USC with Caleb Williams, they have a very strong chance to win this game because Caleb Williams is – He's phenomenal. I mean, I watched him the other uh, set last Saturday against Arizona game with a triple overtime, and you just saw that this kid had the desire to not let his team lose. It was like, I'm going to put this team on my shoulders, and we're going to win this game because USC's defense is horrendous. But with Caleb Williams at the quarterback position going up against Sam Hartman, Sam Hartman started off on fire. That's because he's playing against inferior opponents. But you look at his numbers since the Ohio State game, he has not been the same quarterback. So I think that they have a strong opportunity to walk away with the victory in South Bend because of Caleb Williams, his mm. desire to win games. Absolutely. I agree with you, but, but ooh, USC's defense. I think that might be the inferior competition that Sam Hartman is looking for. <laughs> they, they, that's concerning for me. And I believe this is why probably yeah. Caleb Williams is going to win the Heisman Trophy. Because his defense is so bad and he has to play so historically great every single game, I think that's yeah. what ultimately is going to give him the nod.